for you, Eric Johnson. He never answers to his phone. <laughs> Confer. Never picks up his phone. Uh, definitely JT Confer because there's zero chance that guy's answering his phone. I would probably say Byram just because he seems like really like goofy, laughy. I go with Lekkinen. He's just too slow at what he does. Just too slow and he take even if you're in trouble, he take he take forever to get there for you. Probably Miko because he comes out and he always is, he's always late. Probably Miko because he would be asleep for sure. JT Confer. He doesn't pick up his phone ever, so I would, would not call him. Never. Miko. Because he probably wouldn't answer his phone. Probably Confer, because he doesn't answer his phone. He'll go days without answering a text or anything. Val, because he doesn't speak great English. Or Conf, because he doesn't answer his phone ever, and he's always sleeping. I'll throw a bow in there, just, he's young, he's probably like sleeping, still growing and stuff, I'll just, I'll pick bow. Well, first of all, I'd never choose to be a goalie. That's just, that's just that. Uh, there'd probably be some mountains in there, just being from British Columbia and then playing in Colorado. Probably have something with Calgary on it, um, hometown, and then maybe like DU, and then have like my dog on the back or something. Maybe a snowmobile, uh, big snowmobile uh, growing up, so I enjoyed that. You know, the, the three crowns on there represent Sweden, maybe my like kids' names. And probably big face from of Landy, right in the middle. Captain. A lot of colors. Uh, probably like uh, my dog on it too. I don't know exactly what would be on it, but I definitely have my kids and my wife for sure. I got an obsession with goalie masks, so um, I think cartoons are fun. I was big into Ninja Turtles, so maybe something like that. I like the one I had in Czech. It was uh, I played for a team who had uh, yellow and black colors, and I had uh, tiny little Homer Simpsons all over the mask, so that was, that was really cool. I mean, if you're doing golf, you have to go with Tiger Woods first. Michael Jordan would be the second one. We'll throw my dad in there. Tiger Woods, Justin Bieber, and Wayne Gretzky. Bo Bichette, Ken Griffey Jr., Randy Johnson, a baseball guy. Rafael Nadal, Michael Jordan, and David Goggins. Well, Tiger Woods, Kevin Hart, put Eric Johnson in there just for, just for fun. I would love to play golf with Tiger Woods. I think that'd just be, I don't know, just cool to pick his brain. I'd love to play golf with my grandpa again, my grandpa Manson, and then play golf with my dad. Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, and Landy. Pretty boring Landy, but it is what it is. Uh, I feel like well, golf was big this summer, so probably Brooke Henderson, because she's Canadian. Growing up, Annika Sorenstam, she was a Swedish golfer. Sophia Schmidt, played for International for Team Canada Women's Soccer. She's from Abbotsford, so I'll give her a shout out on that. Probably Sabrina in the WNBA. I can never pronounce her last name, you know? I yeah, I Yeah, I Kendall Coyne, I went to college with her. I just, I got to know her a little bit personally. Probably uh, Marie-Philippe Poulin. Um, she went to school, the same school I did, and then, I mean, it seems like every Olympics, she's scored the game-winning goal in the past, like, three or four of them, so. I'm a big tennis guy, so I guess I'm gonna say Serena. Like she, she's the goat of women's tennis. It's a, it's a Czech athlete. Her name is uh, Sabri Kova, and she's a speed skater. You know what? In, in Canada, they have um, Poulin, who's a hockey player. Um, I think the captain of the Canadian team, and she seems like the Sidney Crosby for for, uh, for girls hockey. Yeah, I gotta go with my sister, Jessie. Yeah. When I was younger, the one trick they used to play would be, uh, you know, on rookies, they put a full glass of water underneath someone's helmet uh, in the dressing room and wait for the guy to go get the, get the helmet off the top and pull it off and water would go everywhere on the guy. But. Uh, we were going on a road trip and everybody were wearing suits and a couple of the guys thought it would be a fun idea to 
stitch my pants, like, uh, like the bottom of my pants together so I couldn't uh, put my, my legs through the pants. Yeah, it was a mess and it was a brand new suit, so that got, that got ruined. We're in Montreal probably about five or six years ago. I wasn't playing the next day. So I went out for dinner with some of the trainers and, and some of the staff and went out for some drinks after because I wasn't playing. So uh, get back to my room late and all of a sudden I don't have a mattress. I don't have a, I don't have comforter. I don't have pillows. I don't have anything. And I look in the shower and they're all in the shower. So I had to call down at like three in the morning and be like, can you guys either give me a new room or can I have some, some fresh sheets or can somebody come up and make this bed? But that was one of the early lessons I, I learned that don't give your room number out to anybody.